Huge congratulations, Sean. That is five in five. You and your boys are absolutely flying. Um, I won't say that. I would. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just thought we had no respect for the ball. Um, oh. we, we lacked a lot of composure with the ball. We tried to score on every tackle, every set we tried to score on. Um, but on the flip side, I did defence was really resilient. Um, and they scored off a couple of kicks and then and one was off an offload, which is debatable. But so the, the lads dug deep and, and I think we dodged the bullet there, if I'm being honest. But like I said, we we're, were, was way off where I want us to be. Is that the next step now, Longy? Obviously, there was quite a few offloads that went to the floor. When things just aren't sticking, is it a case of, look, let's go back to basics, kick well, get behind our D? Yeah, 100%, Kev. Like, I spoke to you before the game about resetting yeah. after, after the Newcastle game. So the last play of the game against Newcastle, we shifted off kickoff. you know what I mean? And, and they turned up today thinking, OK, it's going to be that type of game. But, you know, we didn't go in our nose enough to earn the right to play. I think they just thought we'd turn up and play, but, you know, it showed some good uh, character to, to defend that. You know, I think it was about 50% completion second half, so to keep turning away was good. Yeah. Good character building, uh, and we're going to need it going forward, but obviously I'm disappointed with the attack. Yeah, with, with the character defensively, there was a couple of tackles in particular, the Brad Day one on Holmes and then Joey Leilua at the end of the game. Is that something that you can take from it as positives? Yeah, 100%. Like I say, I did, I did was pretty much follow us all night. We just couldn't deal with her kicks. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Uh, the kicks was, you know, floating in the air and wasn't getting numbers around the ball and stuff like that. So and scored a couple of tries of kicks and then scored off an offload. Uh, which went to ground. We just need to rein it in, realise when, when it's not going your way in those particular moments in the game, is go, all right, rein it in here, let's get back to running hard, burying in nose, kick long, chase hard, yeah. get back in for the grind, set for set, play the long game, and then try and turn it around. But we just <laughs> kind of let them back into it each, you know, every time we got the ball, really. Is that something that you'll be sitting down with your halfback, Sean, about, you know, about that game management, like sort of recognising those those triggers or those times where, hang on, but we haven't quite got the ascendancy. You can't blame the halfbacks all the time. It was a <laughs> <from Rosemary. laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. It is it is game management, you can be all right, um, but it wasn't the halfbacks what were throwing the ball on the floor, were they? So... I think it's Typical up to them. Forward longer. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it, you know, I think it's a good learning day for us. It's yeah. a great learning day for us. And you always get something from a game or whatever. And I just thought, you know, our lads learned a lot today, you know, against a good Bradford, Bradford team who kept coming and coming and coming at us. Uh, and, you know, going forward in the future, we're, we're going to take these learnings from it and move forward. Is it important to have the games like this then where you do learn from them? Because it's all well and good winning, like you say, but the fact that you've noted key things that need to be addressed, do you think that is part of the reason why you are successful? Because you're not just taking a win. No, no, we're not taking a win. And the boys are not happy in there. I'm not happy. Um, but, um, yeah, we just, we, you know, like I said, we're learning each week and we know now that our is pretty decent, but we could have made it a lot easier for ourselves. And there's going to be times in the season when we come up against a quality opposition, like a Toulouse, like a Sheffield, like a Witness or whatever, that we're going to need that resilience in our D. And then we can go, hang on a minute, I remember that Bradford game where we kept dropping the ball or offloading. That's when we can go reset, rein it in, and then just put it in corners. You say the boys are not happy in there. I'm interested to know then, Sean, off the back of that, what you go in there and say to them. Uh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> you, you didn't want, you, it's a you, family you, friendly show, Sean. You didn't want to hear my half time speech, so. Uh, is it, is it going to be that. a tough week in training for them? No, not at all. Not at all. They, they, they know what they did wrong, you know, they, they come off the field and they, they know that they wasn't at the races today with the ball. And no, it's not going to be an hard week. It's just going to be back to normal and uh, working hard for each other. Well, Sean Long, thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations once again. We will let you go and chat to the lads and find out from them what you've said to them. Thank you very much. <laughs> Take care. Thank you and enjoy well, your Challenge Cup game that you've got coming up next. Sean Long there, thank you very much.